So I just got out of seeing Strange Darling and here's my early reaction to it. Now this is the newest thriller mystery out in theaters and let me tell you it was an emphasis on thriller, emphasis on mystery, all right? It started off, it tells you what it's about. It's about a serial killer. But what you don't know is how they're telling this story. They say, hey, we're telling this to you in six chapters. They don't make it linear. I really enjoyed that method of storytelling. I felt like you're constantly wondering what's happening next because they start you kind of off in the middle of the story and then you're wondering what happened to get them to this point. And this is so crazy early on what can possibly happen after this point? You know what I mean? And the sound design in this movie was very, very, very well done. It almost felt like a side character, to be honest with you. The music really fit what was going on, but but, but it also drove emotion out of you. And I, I think that really helped tell the story of not only what was going on in the background, but possibly what was going on in the character's mindset at the time great done i mean this was some of the best writing this year honestly i mean it was just a well-crafted story like they've been saying in the promotions the devil is in the details and they weren't lying and let me be clear this wasn't a jump out your seat type thriller this was more of a sit back and you're on the edge of your seat holding your breath wondering what's going to happen next type thriller also this whole entire movie was in tense i don't think there was more than like two minutes where you didn't feel something was about to happen even down to the last second you feel like something could happen. Anything could pop off in any moment. That's what makes the thriller an experience over just watching a movie. But what do you think is strange, darling, on your list? I want to know.